There are multiple factors that can make a person susceptible to migraine attacks. Some of the most well understood are genetics, hormones, and head injuries. Genes affect the way cells function in the brain, including how they communicate with each other. There are dozens of genes that are associated with migraine disease. This may explain why it is so difficult to treat and why one treatment does not work for everyone. Genetic mutations have been found to cause familial hemiplegic migraine, a subtype of migraine with aura. However, this does not explain all cases of hemiplegic migraine. Researchers hope that new genetic information can guide them in developing more targeted migraine treatments. Hormones appear to be a major contributor for many people with migraine. In childhood, males and females have the same rate of migraine, but from puberty to menopause, women are three times more likely to live with migraine than men. Researchers believe that fluctuations in estrogen make the brain more susceptible to migraine. Many female patients experience an increase in the number and severity of attacks around puberty and perimenopause when estrogen fluctuations worsen. However, many find attacks decrease with pregnancy, while others find their attacks worsen or stay the same. After menopause, when hormone levels decline, attacks often decrease in severity and frequency. Some people develop chronic headaches after experiencing a head injury, such as a concussion after a fall or an accident. Most people with a mild traumatic brain injury recover fully. Others experience headaches and other symptoms typically associated with migraine, such as light and or sound sensitivity, nausea, vomiting, and or increased head pain with activity. For these people, migraine treatments are often used. People with migraine disease or a family history of migraine are more likely to develop a post-traumatic headache after a head injury than people without a migraine history. Genetics, hormones, and head injuries are not the only factors that can contribute to the onset of migraine. Due to the complexity of the disease, there are likely more underlying factors to be discovered. For more information, visit migrainedisorders.org.